Meanwhile, businesses have faced a perfect storm in recent years, according to an organisation that supports independent retailers. The combination of the pandemic, Brexit and the cost of living crisis have had a knock-on effect on shops. Kirsten Tate reports. It's been a tough time for independent shops like this one over the past few years. Forced to close during the pandemic, Brexit and now the cost of living is causing running costs to soar. People have less disposable income to spend in gift shops like this one in Aberdeen. They struggled but are determined to survive. It feels like we've just gone from sort of one lifetime event into another, into another, into another. Sometimes you think, oh God, you know, can I dig any deeper? Can I turn this around again? But ultimately, we don't have a choice. You know, we are committed to our shops, we're committed to our buildings. You know, we have to make it work. We're a, a family business. There isn't any other income coming into our household apart from what you know, we, we generate in shops, so that's pretty motivating. Um, you know, we've got the same bills to pay as everybody else. With everywhere shut during lockdown, socialising disappeared, and with it, the need to wear the latest trends. One well, most difficult period we've ever, ever had. Price hikes of everything, like, you know, electricity, gas, you know, fuel. So footfall's really down at the moment. You know, customers, again, you know, they, I think they're prioritising what they want to spend their money on. Two years of restrictions was bad enough for business survival, but now the highest level of inflation in over 30 years, supply chain issues and the cost of living crisis are creating the perfect storm for independent retail. It's feared that as people become more careful with their spending, it could lead to more boarded up shops on our high streets. This perfect storm, I never thought I would say this, will be worse for businesses in two years of the COVID pandemic that we've just experienced because it's, it's far harder to navigate a business through this door than, than even a one-off event like COVID-19. It's been a tough few years for companies, and with business rates returning to normal in June and energy prices on the rise again later in the year, there's more uncertainty ahead. But despite that, there's optimism for the future, with businesses feeling if they can get through this, they can get through anything. Kirsten Tate, STV News.